Greetings, dear viewers. So as you can tell, some things have changed since the previous episode. I, oh my goodness, it was such a good session too. I recorded a two hour session, but ran out of hard drive space during that two hours at some point and the file did not fully render. So I lost two hours of footage, two hours of progress here. And I'll try and explain as I go along the things that I've done, starting with here, this corner of the starter base, which is probably just becoming my main base at this point. I'm putting a lot of love and care into it, but we'll see what happens as I progress with the adventure. But yeah, I've begun here. Let me explain what I'd like to accomplish um, with the construction of this base. I want there to be an entrance here and we'll have a, a stone bridge, most likely a cobblestone bridge because that's what my eye, uh, that's what my mind's eye imagines. Probably have a bridge that comes out here and then curves, they'll probably like curve lightly and then up here, just like that. We'll have like a nice little stone bridge that leads up to the western exit out there because this is the western side. So that's how this is going to work. We'll have a rounded glass pane window so I can still keep track of things like the time of day and the weather. And as you come around in here, I want this area that we're going to create here pretty soon. I'm going to I'm going to dig a, a nice open space there so that we can have we can have a room that sort of also protrudes out right here and there will be a lot of windows to help me look out and get a good view of the scenery and the bridge that we're going to have here. And I'm not sure how that's going to work on a 360 degree area, so maybe that changes at some point later, but I do want to try it and at least see what that's going to be like. So you're going to come in here, then there's going to be that area. That will be the main work area. That's where I'll have my station and all of our active storage, things that we're actively using. Uh, maybe an anvil, things like that. That'll be the main active area. It'll be sort of sizable, so it might work for exactly what I want later. It's hard for you to envision what I'm talking about right now because I have a very specific idea for it in my mind's eye, and I don't think it's going to play out exactly the way I imagine it. So, you know, adapting and things like that will be part of the process. Um, and here, for example, I'm not sure if I want to level the floor up to that point or make a ramp that goes up there. I don't know if I want to lower the entrance down and then have... Uh, steps that lead up toward the farm out the eastern exit like this. I'm not sure I'm not sure which of those I'm going to do, but we also managed in that previous two hours to fully oh To fully seed our farm. Mm hmm I Said I fully seeded it and sometimes I miss one square and somehow viewers are able to pick out that one square. So now I'm sort of second guessing myself. This is the sort of thing that you viewers do to YouTubers. Ah! <laughs> no, that's from the spider that attacked. Oh, you guys don't get to see that, man. Because the footage. Ah, 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 ah. No, no, no. Oh, it's daytime. He won't attack. Still. Bastards. Spiders keep screwing shit up for me. Skeleton out there doing a thing. All right, so let's fix that since we can. And this is probably gonna be a shorter video. Like I said, my recording time today has basically all been taken up. So I'm just trying to make sure I have something um, prepared for Wednesday's upload since I lost all my freaking footage. Okay, so we'll plant some more potatoes and we'll be good to go. Just like that, and we'll just drop the hoe back. Oop, the hoe back in here, and look. Oh, we one thing we do get to see. Let me check my recording program. Yes, good. One thing we do get to see is me taking my first surplus potato out of the farm. That's actually really cool. I okay, that's exciting. I'm taking my first surplus potato out of the farm, and the rest of this is just going to be all food profit. That's great. And if you'll notice, my inventory has a lot of things in it. I did a lot of fighting and adventuring in the previous two hours. It's a shame. One thing that I discovered, because I did come down and explore this finally a little bit, uh, one thing that I discovered, ow, dang it, is that um, there is a massive underwater cave network beneath my base and beneath all of this that we see. I swam for as far as I was comfortable, which admittedly wasn't very far, but I went down into this hole I explored for a little bit. I, I practiced using doors. That's why I have these. I practiced using doors as a means of breathing underwater. And for those who have never seen that, oh, I learned something else too that I'm going to show you guys right now before the, before the underwater thing. Look at what I found out. Check this out. I want to show this right now because this is one of the coolest things that I discovered uh, in the previous two hours in the session that in the two hours of footage that was lost. Look at this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. You're going to love this. 
You're gonna love this, I promise you. You're gonna love this, it's gonna be great. Watch this, you probably already know about this, honestly. You probably already know about this, but this is the kind of thing that I like to figure out. So we're gonna drop down here, and we're gonna beat the water down to the ground. All right, we're good. I discovered something neat. I can scale sheer cliffs with just a bucket of water by picking up the source block at just the right time. I see bones and arrows, I want both of those. Okay, good. Check this out, watch this, it's gonna be great. You're gonna love this. So you go, boom, climb, grab, place, grab, place, grab, place, grab, grab, place, grab, place, Wee. grab, place, Wee. grab, place, Wee. grab, place, grab. Actually, if I just hold right click, I wonder if that makes it easier. Yeah, it kind of works, it's a little bit randomized. But you can totally, oh. you can totally just scale sheer, I, with some practice. I was doing it a lot better a couple of hours ago, to be honest with you. It was pretty smooth a couple of hours ago, but it works either way. So when you need to scale sheer cliffs and stuff like that, you can just use a bucket of freaking water. That's awesome. Oh, wait. Man, now we're going to have this big stone pillar here that I don't really have a use for. It'll pop up. Grab place. Grab place. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a skill to it. Place. There's definitely a skill to it. <laughs> there we go. And it doesn't make too much of a mess. You certainly can't do it near things that you want to keep looking the way they're currently looking, because this will erase flowers or it'll pop off flowers and grass and other things that are like can be decorative blocks for a lot of people so you can't do that around your own buildings and stuff i couldn't do it around my farm for example that would just ruin my farm but it is something cool that i figured out anyway for those of you who haven't seen uh underwater door breathing it was it's difficult it's not easy but i'm gonna try it but as an example of how expansive this cave network is i dropped down this hole tried my best to learn how to explore with this new skill set of using doors underwater and surviving underwater for uh, far away from open air it was actually kind of scary i really wish that i had captured that two hours i know i'm sorry i'm making you folks feel like you missed out because you fucking did it was an awesome session but anyway i went down there to explore and ended up popping out like right here because I thought that I was swimming back to this entrance that I went down in the first place, but I explored a little bit and then I followed a path that looked like it was gonna lead right back here, but instead I popped out here. And then like that same thing happened before, but I or later, and I popped out in a completely different area. It, this whole area, you can't tell from up here, but this whole area has a massive underwater cave network underneath it. That's crazy to me. Um, so let's go see, let me go show you folks. Boom. I keep falling down when going down there. Um, I don't want to eat a raw potato. I need some kind of other food first. Not really. Okay, let's go. So I'll show you. Nope, that's not the way I want to go. It actually dips further down, like right here, right? Yeah, it does. There's a torch that shows me some magma blocks there. I didn't mind this, but I wanted to show you folks where I came down here. I also realized more fully that magma blocks, they'll pull you down, but you can breathe on them. Oh, actually, if I stand just above it on this block, I can breathe without taking damage. I just learned some, a cool new trick. Okay, so this is gonna require, underwater um, ex exploration of this whole cave network is going to require a, a whole new skill set from me because I'm not accustomed to exploring like this, like getting my water from, sorry, my air from magma blocks and stuff like that. Plus, I can't set torches down in here. So it's kind of uh, difficult to explore down here with YouTube's um, darkness compression, the way it compresses, uh, compresses darker colors, it makes the whole thing look like a muddy mess. So exploring down here without the ability to place new light sources is going to be really weird. But anyway, here's how the door thing works. You can explore like this. Now see, this will hurt you. It pulls you down to it and hurts you. It lets you breathe, but it hurts you. But I just figured out a good way around that. Ow, ow, ow. Just stand on top of this block right here. And I can breathe the air bubbles above the magma block without having to make contact with it. Okay, so off we go. Look at this. You can come down here and you can keep going that way. Or you can go further down. When you need some air, you place the door. You can even open it to change the side that the door is on. <laughs> you don't even need to close it. But it creates a pocket of air that you can use. And again, I know most of you already know this. Like, I'm probably like the last person in the world under uh, exploring underwater like this. 
But uh, I don't know. This is what this is a skill set I'm trying to learn, or I was trying to learn a couple of hours ago. And again, I can't place torches unless I like dig up, so that the water can't expand upward, and then I can do something like this. Boom, and that torch can survive. Now I've got some light to work with, but that's a lot of trouble to go through uh, for some underwater exploration. And I'm doing this because I need iron. I'll tell you why I need iron soon. I mean, besides the obvious reasons. Okay, I guess I'm just exploring now. I don't think I went this far. Or maybe I did go this far last time. I'm not sure. I hear a skeleton. Let's put a door down. Let me breathe. Let me breathe. Okay. And I hear a skeleton in here, which means there's got to be open air somewhere. Or maybe I'm close enough to the surface and there's one up there. Could I break into an open air pocket down here? Okay, let's try a torch. Shoop. Torch. Not easy to place. Okay, I'm not going to try and hunt that skeleton down now that I think about it. Not going to do that. And this recording session does have to be on the shorter side since I used up all my recording time today. So let's get going. Let's take the door. Swim. Maybe I can make it all the way to the exit before needing to place another. I think I just go up right here. Ah, and there's some open air. See, this is the way I, I, I recognize this path. I thought I was leaving through the same entrance I came in from last time. I found this path and I popped out right here by the farm. Oh, I thought it popped out right there. You see what I mean? <laughs> Entered there, thought I was gonna pop out there, popped out here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like that I, I've been in more areas than just this where I've found more water to explore through and I've actually gone a decent bit through there in a way it might not be the worst thing that the recording didn't uh, render properly because it might have been a really dark muddy episode illagers with a banner what I don't have food what I don't have food or armor. I don't have any armor to work with here. Um, here's what we're gonna do. We got those illagers. I'm gonna grab, I have my sword, I have my shield ready. I'm gonna put that in my inventory, or on my arm that is. And I don't have, okay, I have these. That's right, I have these. I didn't realize I had those in my inventory. Okay, I can heal up. Did they place a banner down outside of my base? Is that a thing that just happened? Oh no, that's a banner carrying one. He's carrying a banner. I know those guys hurt, but I don't want illagers out here. Oops, three. First strike. Sword, shield. Slice. AOE shot. Not that time. Oh, okay. They staggered their shots. Good to know. Crit. Block. Block. Crit. Voluntary exile. Uh-oh. What did I just do? Advancement made. Voluntary exile. Let's go at this one with an axe. Listen for the draw of this bowstring. There it is. Boom. Axe crit. Boom. Okay. These guys are not that tough. If I did manage to find that original outpost from the start of the session, I could get my revenge. Two of these arrows are mine to pick up. I thought, oh, I already did because we we're fighting them. Yeah, all right. I thought I was moving through. Whoa, okay, so that was interesting. Did they drop anything? They dropped an ominous banner. Hmm. I don't know what that does. Do I want to hold on to that? Do I want to place it? I don't think I want to place it or hold on to it. Mm -hmm. And if I just drop it into some lava or something, it can't really hurt me, right? <laughs> I don't know how Minecraft works these days. Like, if I throw that into lava, is there something that says, ah, you shouldn't have done that. Our people are now aware of your location and they'll come raid me or something? Will placing it cause that? Will holding it attract more to me? I don't know what this actually does. It's pretty ominous, though, so we're going to leave it in that chest. Um, anyway, really not too frightened because they're not that tough. If I can take on zombies and skeletons, I can certainly take on a few dudes with some crossbows. Um, so anyway, I've been trying to explain to you everything I did in that previous session, and apparently we got some fighting in. I've also got to cook this one potato. That could be very handy. Let's do that now. 
I'm trying to tell you other things. Oh, right. That, right, right, right. Let's do this. I do have a dirt thing right here. We can get out that way. So, out the western side. Zoop, 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 zoop. Out the western side here. We placed a lot of torches, first of all. There we go. We placed a lot of torches, first of all. Oh, and if you saw a grass block in my uh, chests earlier, it's because I killed an Enderman who had a, a grass block. And he dropped his grass block. So I went and cut down a bunch of trees for the construction project, and I'm getting around to why I need iron, besides the obvious reasons. And honestly, iron is still the most obvious. It's, it's, it's still the most obvious reason. It's the, still for the same reasons you always want iron. Anyway, um, I chopped down a bunch of trees, but I also replanted a whole bunch of trees with the saplings, placed a bunch of torches out there to make sure it stays safer. Uh, at night. So that's what's happening out here. We still got some of the trees growing. I think some of the saplings are still in the ground. That's how recent these developments were. Oh, there's still some lighting up here too. Check this out. Watch, this is going to be cool. I'm going to try this again. This is how I placed that one torch over there. We're going to give it a buddy. It's like this. No, it's like this. It's got a sprint. It's got a sprint. So I need a couple of blocks to sprint with here. A couple of... Give me some dirt. Boom. Boom. Bum, 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 bum. There, this will work. Check this out. And Jordan! <laughs> that was just as fun the second time, if not more fun, because it felt silly repeating it. The first time it happened naturally. This time I like intentionally performed that little feat, and I don't know, it was fun in its own way. That was pretty cool. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, in constructing this and the reason that you only see this corner is because i wanted to complete a corner and this is of course just real bare bones i don't have decorations like clay pots with plants i don't have paintings i don't have item frames to put some decorations in i don't have dark oak planks which is uh which is what i was going to use for this spot right here in fact these are supposed to be slabs they're supposed to there's supposed to be some dimension to this some extra texture that's the whole point of that or i'll leave it like that and i'll put the dimension around here i'll indent this you know make it all embossed i don't know there's all kinds of things i could do here but i wanted to see if my general design idea would work actually i'm noticing something that needs changing here need a log I just wanted to see if my original design idea would work, so I decided to complete with what I have uh, one little corner of the base. And I do like this look, I do like this design. It's not just a square box, we're going to have some viewing portholes here. I like the idea of the uh, different colors and uh, accents in the ceiling. So I decided to finish up this, and the bed's not going to be there. I'm going to tell you how the base is going to be laid out in a second. Uh, I already told you about the room, the main work area that's going to be back there, this entrance, that entrance, but back here is a hallway, and to the left there's going to be the bedroom where I'll keep some personal storage, some small storage, the bed, a few decorations, just a place to feel safe and secure. And um, over here, on the right side of this hallway, I'm going to want a big storage room with lots of chests for all the major storage. So we'll have active storage in the main work area, we'll have storage here, and we'll have a bedroom here with some light personal storage. That's the idea. It's going to be a simple base, but it's going to require lots of resources and a good bit of time to shape this the way that I want this shaped. For the most part, I want the shape of the cave as it is to determine the shape and layout of the base. I'm not going to try and just like square all this out, like, like carve out all this stone and then make a base of my design. I sort of want to let the cave determine what the base is going to look like as far as its shape. I don't know if that'll work. Maybe we'll change things up in the future. It's Minecraft. If you don't like something, you can always change it. That's the first idea that I'm going to do there. But as you can see, clearing out the stone that I need to clear out and getting the ceiling to the right height and making sure that the floor is all planks and making the hallway, the rooms, the chest, it's going to require uh, more, resource, more resources than I currently have and it's going to require a lot of knocking things down and replacing things and you know, taking out whole walls and moving them. It's going to require a lot of use of tools. And as an ex-girlfriend of mine once said, life is too short for stone tools is what I'm presently using. So I need to find some iron, and that is what got me looking underwater through the underwater cave system. So now we can see where I'm basically at. I also ran very far out, not very far out, somewhat far out to the east, so I have an idea of what's actually out there already. 
Um, and what I can use it for, there's a village off in that direction. That's where that village was that I uh, initially ran to, which means my starter location is somewhere like out there, I think, a good ways off. And uh, it is a sort of side quest, a side goal of mine to go find that outpost again and get my revenge. Um, we might as well go ahead and eat this. So there is that. This is kind of like a good little recap episode, actually. Something to keep us uh, moving in the right direction. So what I want to do now, since un underwater exploration was uh, a new skill set for me, something that I have to learn how to do, and because underwater it's difficult to light things and YouTube's compression may make it a muddy mess to watch, uh, various factors led me to abandon the idea of finding iron underwater, which is something I would still love to do, but I may have to wait for um, potions so I can get potions of underwater breathing and potions of night vision so I can still see underwater and explore all this. So we may have to wait for potions to explore the uh, underwater cave network here. But I have decided to stop trying to look underwater for stuff for all the reasons mentioned and more and instead look for something more of a classic style cave something that i'm more accustomed to uh, adventuring in and mining in for easier iron for better footage all kinds of different reasons and because i've ran out to the west already so far looking for caves like that i know what's out there but i don't really quite know what's out far off to the east so we kind of want to do that too um Food is running a little scarce at this point. We can put this here. Let's do some inventory management real quick. All right, real quick here. While it's still night, somewhat. And it's actually, it's actually turning morning now pretty quickly. Um, real quickly, what I want to do is let's bone meal as many of these as I can, just like that. Those are all good. I know these two rows are good, so we're going to go there. There we go. And we're going to go Ooh, these are growing kind of quick. Is this row good? All of these are good. How about this? How about this? How about this? How about this? Okay, so this whole row. That's all real good. Okay, what about you? Up oh, one, two, three. Oh, is that enough? Yes, it is. Me left clicking on that. I don't know if that. Okay, no, that's safe. Okay, good. So now we can go ahead and plant these. Oh, we got so much food now. I am set for adventure. Even more adventure. I've already had quite a bit. Also, there was a freaking amazing fight that left me at half a heart and half a hunger bar. Not uh, or half a hunger unit, whatever you want to call it. I was at, I was nearly dead. There was a big fight here between skeletons, zombies, and spiders and creepers all around my farm. And I managed to kill them all without leaving any creeper blast craters and uh without dying so that was pretty cool again i wish you guys had seen that uh anyway um i wanted to get this food so i can cook it so i know that i can run out there and that will pr i think what i'll do is i'll just run out there explore get some information about what's out there maybe locate a uh a non underwater cave that I can use. Oh, let's do this. Pew. Cook up some potatoes there. I can just eat raw potatoes in the meantime, right? These are fine, I think so. So we'll let that do its thing. And since it's now freshly day, let's put up my adventuring shield. I'm good on tools for the moment for adventuring, that is. You know what? Um, one more. Uh, let's bring some sticks just in case I need some extra stuff. Boom, boom. There. One more of these should be fine. All right. Now, halloop. Fast swim. Can you fast swim with a shield up? Yes, you can. Good to know. And we're going to come out here and we're going to run. Where's the sun? We're going to run westward. We're going to run west because we've already explored off to the east. But I haven't gone too far west yet. This is New Frontiers for me. I'm looking primarily for a cave.
it would be good for finding iron. Now, if this fails, if I can't find a good place, a good natural cave to find some iron, I will resort to the good old tried and true tactic of just digging a mining shaft downward. I will do that if I need to. Uh, and it looks like I might have to because I've been looking around. I guess I haven't checked north and south either. I've only done east and west because those are the easiest ways for me to leave through the entrances of my base. See, this, all this right here is pretty close by, but I think it's a little too close to the uh, underwater cave network that I've already been exploring, we'll say. Ooh, look at all this. Pumpkins are good. Is that is that a biome change? No, I don't think so. It's just lots of trees and pumpkins. It's, a, it's the tree and pumpkin biome. Ooh. Oh, wow, mountains go high now. They did not do this before. Back in my day. Back in my day, mountains were eight blocks high. You kids are running around in a Minecraft that you know nothing about. Back in my day, Minecraft dogs were eight blocks high. Ooh. <laughs> that cow called me out. Did you hear that? He's like, you liar. Dogs were not eight blocks high. <laughs> even had the tone. Go back. Seriously, in the video, go back and listen. I was like, dogs are eight blocks high. And the cow was like, <laughs> nah, dude. <laughs> you could just hear it. The cow's doing a voice. Shut up, cow. Back in my day, Minecraft cows knew when to shut the fuck up. Bok, 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 said the chicken over my expletive. Okay, so I'm climbing really high. But isn't that the opposite of what I want? Aren't I supposed to be looking for natural caves? It's just good to know what's out in the westward direction. What in the... <laughs> this is so cool. I'm even getting frame drops as the world continues, as the chunks out there continue to generate. Anyway, that's a cave. Um, I gotta go that way. Which way is the sun? Okay, the sun is still... It's noon, so I can afford to do something like this. I need to set up a pillar. I need to set up a location pillar here. There's some bees up there, or A, B. What? I can't see it anymore? What happened? Did it despawn? Did it fall? Did I just miss it? What happened? Oops, of course. I, I, can I? Okay, I can't not waterlog a block. So we're going to do the whole. Ow! <laughs> it just held my shield up in front of me instead of dropping the bucket. <laughs> Got to be careful with that then. Okay, and raw potatoes are fine, right? Yeah, should be good. As long as they're not rotten potatoes. Yeah, this looks good. This looks very promising. Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I have to go out a little far. It's a little far. We're a little far from the base. Just a little bit, not much. We're a little bit far. I'm gonna clear out this tree because this seems to be in the perfect spot for a location pillar. I should have left the bottom trunk, but it's okay. We got what we need. We got what we need. Boom, oops, boom, 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 boom. And that birch that we just collected will certainly serve to add some accent color to our base. So even the birch we just collected is very, very useful. It's going to have to be a tall one. I'm going to have to be able to see this one from France. IRL. I want this pillar to be so I want this pillar to be so tall that if I go to France IRL and I look out my hotel window, I will see it. 
I imagine people in France right now are all like, what the frick is that? <laughs> it's like news over there right now. Okay. Um, a location pillar was set. I've been recording for about 30 minutes. More than that, given the session we did not manage to get fully rendered. Okay, let's go. Location pillar set. Oh, don't go too much further. Not too much faster. Oh, it was still underwater. All good. That's safe. Time to go. Am I okay with that? That's pretty tall. <laughs> okay, let's go back to base. All right, dear viewers, I would love to step inside that cave and see what's in there, but I really do have to get going, so let's just make our trek back home. I will consider this short session a pretty big success as I was able to get you folks caught up on, mm, I don't know, like maybe 60 to 70% of what I actually did uh, in the past couple of hours. So that's a pretty good... That's pretty good to have gotten accomplished, just to catch you folks up on what's been going on and as something more tangible, something more solid in my progress, I was able to get the uh, location pillar set up. Yeah, that should work just fine. So that cave is what we'll be probably be exploring next time so I can get some iron because again, life is too short for stone tools. Uh, so I can get some iron in the next session, maybe get some armor going too, but get my tools going. And yeah, we're just going to keep doing what we can do. I feel accomplished even in this little 30 minute session. Fuck it. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I forgot there was a ravine here. <laughs> well, okay then. It's time to crawl out of this ravine with what daylight we've got left. Let's find a nice sheer... There we go. That's a good pillar to use here. Let's try it. Let's try and put to practical use what we've learned. Swim up. Grab the block. Swim. 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 Grab the block. Swim, grab the block. Swim. Boom. Grab the blocks. Ooh, actually, if, if I come up to the top and I go boom, boom. Oh, that's probably the best way to do it. Boom, boom. Oh, okay. Oops. Shoot. Haha. -ha. Um, where's the sun? It's that way. Let's roll. Uh oh. Okay. Raw potatoes suck. I mean, better than not having them, though, let's be real. And there's the location pillar for my base. Cool. All right. My base looks really cool from afar, doesn't it? You know, that looks like a thumbnail, but the text is going to be right in the middle of the screen. So let's go like this. That way, the, let's go like this. Because the whole logo isn't, the logo for X is in the top left. The text will be in the middle of the screen. And that'll show the base with the moon rising behind it. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, got it. That's the thumbnail. That's my thumbnail. <laughs> Let's keep running. Let's go because it's getting dark. There's no sheer drop that's going to stop me this time. Let's just use the speed of the water here. Super swimming. And dear viewers. That is going to do it for Jordan, this particular session. It's not a Jordan if you don't place a torch at the top. So I, it's kind of, it's kind of, kind of didn't call that one out correctly there. Ah. Oh, actually, I was trying to do the outro in a slow fashion there, but ooh, cooking gives me experience. Ah, there, our farm. Our farm has finally reached. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? Let's go. We'll just do that. Don't worry about full efficiency. Let's just drop another one of. Let's drop a few more of those in there for funsies. You know what? All of them. Whatever. We got all of them. And the rest of these. There. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, my farm has finally come into full functionality. My farm is finally in production. I can eat this last cooked pork chop and rely on nothing but baked potatoes from here on out, or at least for a while. I know pork chops and others. I know that there's all kinds of math with saturation and all that sort of thing. And maybe these days, 
Um, maybe these days potatoes aren't the best saturation and healing or whatever, but it's what I got and I got a lot of it in infinite supply basically. So let's just roll with that. I just want to go take a look at the farm because it's very nice to know that it's in full production now. It is churning out the food that we need and it will fuel our adventures for this for, for the foreseeable future. So now I'm all healed up. I've got good amounts of food. My tools have definitely seen some use. That's how you know you're definitely doing the Minecraft adventure right. All right, dear viewers, that's going to do it for this particular session. Hope you folks enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you folks next time.